Well, my name is Jane Madrigal, and I am a Chicana artist from San Antonio. Uh, we are fortunate in San Antonio that the city of San Antonio does offer technical assistance to artists, so I was able to come out here. Damien Charette, as a master printer, who's been able to share some amazing techniques. So I think this is going to be a, like the start of a whole new career path. I'm a muralist. I do programs with youth, uh, mostly graffiti artists. Help them get their community service done by painting murals in the in the in the hood with them. I also do uh, art programs for seniors. My friend Alan, he's the one who put together the idea of doing woodcuts of revolutionary women. And then I have my own art. The thing that I liked about it, besides the fact that I got to get to create badass women, was the fact that. We wanted to do the woodcut, and the woodcut is one of the oldest, or the oldest printmaking method. And it was something that was used a lot during the, the Mexican Revolution. And in the height of like the mural movement, there was also the printmaking movement um, by the Mexican mural masters and other printmaking masters at the time. So they had a a big influence on the art scene in general and so to be able to come and learn how to create using those techniques really intrigued me. For me one of the things as a visual artist that was important was to be able to create an incredible work of art that would honor the spirit of these women. The original idea was to be able to do this during or for International Women's Day or during Women's History Month. What I would like to see is to have these prints up in galleries all over the country. They're in the month of March, like at the same time to like kind of saturate the market with these images. Marilyn Buck, Lolita LeBron, Dina Lopez, Antonia Castaneda. What he's worked on is Magdalena Mora and Safia Bukhari. It's always the women who have always done the work. We've always been, you know, the organizers and the leaders and the educators in our community. It's always been that way. I don't, I think it was, in, it wasn't until after I had my children, but that idea of women's work is never done, you know, it's never done. It's never done. So, you know, suck it up and fight the good fight and, you know, work hard and, and get shit done and, and make it happen. You know, plant your own garden instead of waiting for people to bring you flowers. I mean, you got to do for yourself. That would be the first one in the series. There's Marilyn. 